What's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. On today's episode of Jesse's Garage, we are going to install some rock lights on ye old Duramax. And where's he at? Jake's over there too. Devin Nemo called me up and said, hey, I got something for you. I was like, dope, what is it? And he was like, I'll be at your house in a little bit. I was like, okay. And he pulls up and he pulls up, his nice little car. It looks looking all good. So he pulled up and gave me this. Through his little discount code, which is right here, put it up right here. Got me a good deal on them, and now I'm gonna install them on my truck. Should be fairly straightforward, but I'm gonna film it in the process. I know I don't make enough videos to like do anything, or most people don't really care, but I just have fun making the videos. I swear there's gonna be one day where I upload a YouTube video, and everyone's like, oh my god, just so funny. Until then, I get like 100 views. We have it all unpacked, got the, got the lights, and other things which I'll figure out how it goes. All you really need for this install is a, a screw gun, a drill bit, and some nice Phillips, some zip ties, and about two to eight twisted T's. Certified electrician to help me here. This episode of installing parts brought to you by Twisted T. Hello? Hi. Hello. Who the f are you? Working on the truck. Um, 20 minutes? Alright. You're on YouTube right now. Oh, hell. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you soon. Alright, bye. bye. Now I'm just gonna route the wire under the truck down to the front. From the back wheel well, we just ran it along the bottom of the body here, and then straight up into the engine bay. We'll go over to the battery. I mean, we go. Come across to the battery over here, and that's the far back passenger side. So that's the, that's the hardest one. And so once we run that one, then the front, and then the back, and then the front, pretty good here. What are you doing back here? Come here. Onto the front wheel well now. We're just gonna adhere it to the fender liner here, which because of it being a 2008, most of the bolts are already gone, so the fender liner comes down easy. So just adhere it to there, and then run it up into the engine bay. So because I'm missing my rear fender liners, we had to self-tap the lights into the metal of the rear, but in the fronts they come with Couple fasteners. What do they call these things? Nuts and bolts. They come with a couple nuts and bolts that you can secure them to the fender liner. Now we have the rear wired up to under the hood and the front wired up under the hood through the fender liner. Almost lost me twisted T boys. We are now securing them under the hood to go across the hood and over to the battery here, which we'll get to that part here in a second. Now we're gonna take the, the splitter here and then hook the splitter up into the Bluetooth slash power connection and hook it to the battery. First, we'll hook these two pieces up. Really not sure what comes first, chicken or the egg here, so I just hook it up, do the zip tying later. I just wanna kinda see if the, the lights work. I'm getting excited. So we have the passenger side installed, and I wanna see what they look like. I'm downloading the app right now. I wish a bitch would. So that's downloading. Um, like I said, whoa, what happened to my ball, man? My leg from my vlog camera came off. So like I said, we got it all wired up over here, down here, all this wire will zip tie up. But it goes to the Bluetooth thing, hooks up to the power of the battery. Once I get the app downloaded, pause. Power on the light via switch. I don't see a switch. What? Oh! That is gas. Play some music. Ah, no way. Play music. Hello? Oh! <laughs> no fucking way. Yo. <laughs> That's fucking gas. <laughs> this is fucking sick. <laughs> what? <laughs> now let's finish the install. All right, so we have everything wired up from both rears, both fronts, under the truck, up under the hood. We have the lit lights, Bluetooth slash power, which hooks up to the splitter, splits into four, 
all four wheel wells. And now we just have this excess amount of cord that we're gonna zip tie up and tuck under the hood there. All the wires just there. This is floating until I get some double sided sticky tape. It's all hooked up. Got both sides here. Now we're gonna pull it out of the garage and it's gonna look. Go ahead and start the old girl. I'll be back to work on you, I promise. Stay there. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Bottom line, they look sick. Shout out to Devin Nimala and Lit Lights for hooking it up. They work awesome, look great. I'm super excited to get some photos with them. Um, install was super easy, didn't need much. Next thing is spacers. I gotta put some spacers on. But other than that, super excited with the truck. The Lexus is on the back burner right now. It's a rough 2020 for you boy. A little broke right now, so, you know, trying to come up with some content and I know you, some of you guys like watching what I do, so I'm gonna try to keep going and uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe. The party never ends.